This video is an improvement of part 1 of my tutorial for Visitor 3. If you successfully managed to install Visitor 3 without any bugs, problems or any confusion, this video won't help you any further for now. If you never used Visitor 3 before, are having difficulties installing it correctly or are pestered by annoying errors, then this video will definitely help you. To those that already got this far, I promise you to make a part 3 which will cover how to create your own unique landscapes, adding objects into your world, generating random forests, building roads quickly and easily, and creating a texture and image mask. I felt the need to remake the first part because there was bugs and errors occurring, and in order to proceed to the next step, we cannot have any errors. This video should guarantee a complete error-free installation. I will add annotations that you can click to skip to certain parts of this tutorial since there is a lot of ground to cover, so please enjoy! Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Zaza Rising. Welcome to my channel. Some of you guys might know me as Rising Raven 1. I recently changed my name. This is because I think I'm gonna become a little bit more active on YouTube. I just find it a little bit more unique and a little bit more interesting. Now after finally God knows how many trials and errors, I think I can get this tutorial up and running in a single go. Now this is an improvement of the last one and it should hopefully give no bugs to anyone. So let's get started. And I'm gonna actually start off with the most to uh, several stuff that always gives me problems. So in the link uh, below in the description you should uh, find a Dropbox file or any other link that I could provide and you should be able to download this here. So once you downloaded that you should have all these files. And let's start off with the extract PBO. And let's run that. And let's agree. And that's done. Next is then the dev PBO. Let's run that. And that's all good. And the DOGG. Let's run that as well. And all is set on that part. Next we need the BI editing tools. Let's open this up. Click OK. Accept the terms of the license agreement. Take your time and read through. And click on next. And, and let it do its thing. Now there's gonna be a lot of stuff here, so let's open up uh the computer and Basically, all these stuff here, uh, select the drive where you want to install it on. In my case, I'll go with the local disk D. And in here, I actually forgot to remove this here. Uh, just uh, do a new folder, so right-click new folder and call the Arma tools. So once you have that, click on OK here. And let's open up this Arma tools and click up here once and you can do a CTRL and C or you can just do a right click and copy and we wanna delete everything up till to the tools but be sure that this uh, backdash uh, you do not delete that and then behind this backdash we just paste it in by CTRL and V or you can just do a right click and you can paste or you can just do it the much slower method in my opinion and you can go to the directory and you can click on it like that so yourself and then you click on next and now we're gonna pretty much do this um, for every single one of them as you can see it's already popping up here and all the way to all the tools again this one is visitor 3 and click on next most of them will go pretty fast but there's I think just one which really takes a long time. So this one's also good. Next. And once again, all the way to the tools. This one's the bin PBO personal edition. You know, next on that as well. Next up is the SFM. No idea what it is, but Installing it just not to get any problems. Next is the sound tools. That's all good as well. And the bin make. Uh, 
now we'll be also following um, a tutorial online so that will be also in the description and this one's the armor work the most important one so we'll be we'll be working on uh, with the this folder in particular this is probably also going to be the one that takes the longest to install most of the files and uh, anything to do pretty much with editing maps etc will go in this particular folder so yeah and um, basically what we're gonna do here is uh, follow through with the tutorial sample map and the in the end you will have um, a nice map with uh, some textures on it but this is already a map that is already pre-made now later on uh, we're going I'm going to be making a part three so this is kind of like uh, well this should be like the kind of this is like kind of part one really so anybody who has seen part one I guess I should have said this earlier but yeah don't worry about it I'll be making part three since I figured out how to make uh, this go with pretty much bug free all right and I think this is the last one, the font to G TGA. And that's all done as well. So all is good, and we will know if all is good by going to the computer again. And you should see a P drive popping up, which is here. And if we open up the P drive and compare it with the Arma tools here, and then go to the Arma work, you will notice they're pretty much the same folder and as the next step we do a right click here click new new folder and uh, we call it workspace and you will notice uh, there's also suddenly a workspace here so this uh, p drive here is just a copy of this folder in here we won't hardly bother with the p drive so uh, when you deinstall uh, all these stuff it will also disappear so don't worry about it too much and don't ask me why this happens <laughs> I really don't know okay so in the workspace next up is the uh, Twitch sample map open it with WinRAR or WinZip and then you can just drag and drop or extract and then just put it in the appropriate folder which is this here and in here we want to open this up and we want to click on the config.cpp you can use and pretty much get away with uh, using just notepad uh, in most of the cases but if you want to do it with style get yourself notepad plus plus it's pretty cool stuff and the advantage of Note plus, uh, notepad plus plus is that you can just double click here and it pretty much selects all the toots here or whatever you want to highlight for instance you can see that the sample map you can then also do a CT around F and you can pretty much replace them all at the same time now I'm not going to replace this one in particular because there's the toot here and there's the toot here so it's actually going to replace two things and that wouldn't be good now I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so I can again compare of what we're doing here and what we're doing here is uh, changing the path as you can see ours is armor work then workspace and then to the sample map but here it's toot and then toot sample map. So what we want to do is change these toots to a workspace. Now visitor three here is very path sensitive, so we have to watch out to have all these um, paths correctly set. Now if you want to keep it toot, then you just want to rename your workspace to toot. And that should work too, but you know I'm just showing this so that it doesn't have to stay to it, and especially if you're making new maps and whatnot. Okay, so once all is good there, I think there should be only three. So you wanna get the world name, the picture shot, and the directory, and then once all's good, you hit on the save, and we move on. Okay, next up is we wanna go to our Arma to the actual game so wherever you install it I installed it on my D program files 86 and Arma 2 and uh, interesting side note uh, Arma 2 is the engine and the, uh, pretty much everything that as you know which is Arma 2 is all in the add-ons here so if you were to right click here and rename it and just put an extra S 
and then click OK. And then if you run then the um, actual game, you'll notice that it's going to pop up with a, with a re weird menu. So it's just the engine without anything in it. And moving on to the next step, which is we want to bother with uh, this here. So in here, I don't know why this is this. <laughs> this here, so I'm going to remove that. You'll see a lot of PBOs and these PBO BII, BI2, BI sign stuff. So you want to, if it's not sorted by, you do a right click and then sort by type. Now, the game as we know it, everything's located in here. So, for instance, our map that we're doing, it's just an empty map. It doesn't have anything. Every object, every house, every tree is found in this path. In the tutorial that we're following, it only covers just a few things. So, we'll cover those then. We want, um, let's see, what do we need? Just give me a moment. Okay. We're bothering with, um, we want all these plants. So I just double click and then you'll get this menu here. And you just wait until it finishes and you click then the any key. So where's the any key on my keyboard? Ah, there, I found it. Hopefully you guys find it too. <laughs> It's just any key for those who didn't get it. Okay, then we need a clutter, the misc, uh, plant, uh, tree. Let's see what else we need. We need the roads too. Now, I don't know if you should be doing what I do right now by clicking all of them at the same time. Uh, I don't know. It depends on your computer. I don't know if, if your computer can handle it or if you think it can handle it, just go ahead. Otherwise, it might just take a little longer. And then just press anything to get rid of all of them. We also need the CA, which is found here. And we need the buildings too. Also, double click on that. Now, if you want to work with everything and if you don't want any if you get any uh, bugs because you only do what I do right now here, that is probably going to be because you didn't extract all of them. And some stuff um, require other um, PBOs in order to work. So this one's done here, and this one's done here as well. Now, when you extract all of them, these are what you want to have. And we have eight items in total. Now, we want to modify these items a little bit, and I'll explain in a moment why. So what we want to do is we want to create a new folder and we just want to call it plants2. Now if we open up any of these here, starting with the bush, there's a folder called CA in there and in the C there is the plants2 and in the plants2 there's a bush and then there's finally the data and whatnot. So we want to go all the way to the bush part and we can hit on CTRL and X to cut it or you can do a right click and cut and then we go back to the add-ons folder and we paste this into the plans too. We do this because the path already has CA and you will see that in a moment what I mean with it. For now let's just do this. So then you can get rid of this bush here then we go into the clutter again, CA plants 2, and then cut the clutter out with CTR on X. And then going back to the plants 2, and then CTR on V to paste it in there, or you just do a right click and paste. Next up is MISC. Same story. And plant is the next one here. Also, same story. Basically, all the plant stuff. And last but not least is the tree. Also, once again here. And let's open up then the buildings too. Again, there's the CA, so we go all the way to the buildings too. And now we cut the buildings too out. We go all the way back. And you can then paste it in here. It's going to ask you to overwrite. You can overwrite it. It's no problem because like this, you see then once you click it, there's like pretty much a direct access. And the plans too, you know, so have direct access to whatnot. And CA, and then we want to cut this CA out <laughs> and go back and then overwrite the other CA. 
Then in here, roads 2 again, CA, you go to roads 2, go on back, and then paste it in here, and overwrite it again. Now we're doing this is basically just to get the paths, and I'll show you in a second exactly what I mean with that. So then you select all these and you cut them again, so either right click and cut or just do CT on X. And we want to go, let's see, to I think the, yeah, the ARMA work, which is computer, local disk, the ARMA tools, and then ARMA work. And then here, there's the CA, and there's already a few stuff in here, but now we just paste it in here, and we overwrite them. And we overwrite pretty much everything. Now we did this uh, for the sake of the path. Uh, the path should be, uh, it would have been, if we left it as it is, CA, CA, and CA again. But we only want just one CA and then buildings too. Uh, or CA and um, plants too. Now I don't exactly know if uh, this needs to be done, but let's go also in the CA and we copy it. And we paste it so that we have one CA there and one here. and. Uh, the reason I do this is because if you go and check the tutorial online, you'll notice that these files are actually also present um, there, so just in case. I don't exactly know if we need that. Okay, so these are the files that we're going to be working with, uh, so I don't think we need anything else here. And I think we can already start jumping into um, the visitor tree. Alright guys, I forgot to mention the following, so open up your start, write in CMD, and run that. In here, you want to write in the following, CD, forward slash, uh, space forward slash, um, D, capital D, space, small p, double dot, backward slash, CA, and press enter then. Now we're in this folder here. And we write in the following command x copy space star sign, I don't know what you call that, dot cpp space capital P double dot and backdash again. We write in here workspace um, backwards dash again, ca backwards dash once more space forward dash C A or yeah capital S getting myself confused here again forward slash and uh, Y let's run this and you should be getting it like that now depending on how much stuff you extract this number will vary but if you just did exactly what I did you should also get the same amount and then you just well, then you can close this up, and that's all for this. Uh, a little explanation of what exactly just happened here. Uh, this is to make the animations work, um, meaning any doors or ladders in the game, if you, do, if you skip this step, uh, you cannot interact with them. So this basically ga gains you access so that you can scroll in the game or you know, however you ac access your stuff. And uh, if you scroll, for example, then you know, the menu pops up for open door, and uh, whatnot, uh, this, these would be it basically. So that's all. So let's go back to the Arma tools. Then we go to Visitor 3, and then we launch Visitor 3. And welcome to Visitor 3. So I'm just going to put these stuff on the side here. Uh, it's a little bit slow, it doesn't jump right, but. Usually once you put them to place, uh, I think they pretty much stay the same, uh, at the same place. So it's uh, now that we're doing the tutorial and we're working with the tutorial sample map, we want to pretty much just open that up. So we first of all, we do a new one. And because of the tutorial's size of the map, we want to go with uh, 512 uh, by 512. And the Terran cell size is going to be to 10. And then we go to the calculator and we do kind of like the multiplication. So um, this times 10 is uh, just add a zero to it. So like that. And then hit apply proposed and click on then close and click on OK. And 
now we have kind of like the thing scene set up I suppose we click on next on the project and we import Tehran from picture uh, in the next upcoming tutorial we'll be focusing on XYZ's but for now we work with the picture and in here uh, it should already bring you here but if uh, if it doesn't you just uh, I'll just go a few folders back just in case so basically your D then your armor tools um, armor work then you go to your workspace then you go to the tutorial sample map I think it's source yeah source then Tehran and then you want to end up with the Tehran.pbl let's open this up and it seems like nothing happened at all that's because of these settings here so you want to click on one of them and there you go the hidden beast has shown itself so now this is the actual map now before actually working on a map we still have to set a few things up so let's set them up and let's check what we need so we go to the tools and we go to the system preferences and in the system preferences I think everything should be okay I'm just gonna check here real quick yeah the system preferences can be left as they are so this is pretty much good to go I think let's see P bulldozer um, yeah we only need a slight modification here so we remove the P and we just have the bulldozer X and then the minus window and whatnot we click on OK and uh, then following up we go to the project preferences and in the preferences we want to specify our workspace and then we want to do a backwards dash and then the map that we're working with in this case is toot underscore sample map then another backdash and data and that's all for that and then we go to the project parameters once more and uh, we click on this base active and we click on edit and we want to set this from 10 to 10 to 40 times 40 and we hit OK and that is pretty much all there is to set up and that's all good we can do a save just in case we want to save this stuff in the toot sample map folder so just like I showed before or told before it's important that we save it as the right name so toot sample map and in this case we have to do a dot p e w and we save that okay let's see what will be the next step uh, let me think oh yes okay so let's go back to this folder here and we want to go back to our armor work and in our armor work there's a thing called well our, we go to our workspace and then we go to the toot sample map and then we go to our source and there's a thing called layers now we open up the layers either with notepad or notepad plus plus again here you will notice that um, the path is off so we want to do work space work space and one more time workspace now if you know and are familiar with RGB colors uh, this uh, is an RGB color stuff and when I followed the tutorial the last time there's a problem with uh, it being white so this mask is what's coming in question here and the mask is uh, as you can see uh, 255, 255 and 255 is the color for white we want to change this to 0, 0, 0 now you can test it if it works by you If, it, uh, but I remember very well that I always got problems so I'm gonna change it to black and then you right click here and you click on edit and uh, you can you any programming editing or image editor will do and uh, paint even and you just do a bucket here of black and we save it and that's pretty much it for this as well and then we have it here black then we want to proceed to go back and then we go to the data and there should be this SM grass RV mat if we double click on it we get this 
material editor thingy popping up. And once again, the important part here is that we pay attention to the um, paths. Now you can do it like this right now. This is the method I choose right now, but we're going to double check again. So again, once in workspace, workspace, and I think that should be all where we can write in. Let's just do a check. Workspace, workspace. And up here, it seems like it's already properly set. So that's all good. So we click on file and we save it and we close it. Um, alternatively, you can do a right click and we can do this with the notepad plus plus and we just I'm just gonna check it once again so workspace here and workspace there as well and all seems to be okay and we have to be always very careful with these paths, uh, paths. it's always about the path and that's all for here so I'm gonna minimize this and if all went well now um, bulldozer should work and to activate bulldozer we click on this exclamation mark and now this can take a little while. So let's see. Fingers crossed. Oh no. What's this problem? Ah, okay, okay, okay. Um, whew, I'm doing a stupid mistake. My bad, my bad, my bad. I, I'm uh, getting ahead of myself here. So. <laughs> We go to tools, we go import uh, satellite plus map. And in this uh, satellite plus map, click on source, and we click on the layers.cfg. And we can make sure that it's selected to text. And uh, in the text, then let's see, it's asking for a satellite map. And um, just to preview it, as you can see, this is a really nice satellite map. I think it's uh, taken off from Google Maps. I really do not know where they got it from. But as you can see, you can actually use realistic um, satellite maps. So this is how the map will then look with this texture. And we click on that on all right. And the next step is then the mask, and we can select the mask. And now it's importing this stuff. And it can take a little while, um, depending on your computer and, well, yeah, I suppose it's mainly the drive speed. I don't know. Let's hope it just works out. <laughs> I've been already trying to do this tutorials like for a good while now. It's pretty hard to be in the mood to do it. Especially because it's uh, there's always something going wrong. So thankfully it was my fault this time. Well, it's, I suppose it's always my fault because <laughs> this is probably something I always do wrong. But it's I suppose uh, the better way to sing it. It's uh, pretty hard to set it up properly with a single go. Okay, now let's click on the bulldozer and now fingers crossed. Come on, come on. Okay, thank goodness. So um, if it goes well, uh, you should get these menu popping up. And this is going to take a good while now because what's happening is it's uh, taking the satellite image and the, um, the mask. In our case right now, the mask is just black. And black has been defined as grass. So pretty much the entire field is going to be covered in grass, including anything that is underwater. Basically, the entire field is just grass. Uh, the satellite image is then going to be also applied now, so that's what's going to be taking so long. It's applying it currently, and it's at the same time also um, setting the, the grass down. And this could take a good bit. Excuse my squeaky chair. This is already like the fifth or sixth time I'm recording today. There's always something going wrong. I was having a lot of issues with the extract PBO and the PBO before. It's just if you uninstall it and reinstall it, and uh, I deinstalled pretty much everything just for you guys to, you know, not that I have this stuff already and then it's somehow different. So I'm pretty much suffering through the same thing right now. <laughs>
once this thing is set up though it's not too bad it's just the setup is really really tough and all the tutorials I found out there were pretty uh, pretty hard or they were outdated or they just had some kind of issue or were not clear uh, clear enough about certain things and there's hardly any video tutorials so I just felt the need to do it I don't know about Arma 3 but um, they might have a different thing they might be using the same I really do not know I think it should be similar so this knowledge should also help you there hopefully <laughs> Soon we will see the world in 3D. Obviously we're only lo watching from top view right now. And the next tutorial which I now definitely promise to do because the only reason I didn't do a part 2 for such a long time anyway was because I think I had to wipe my computer one time and then pretty much every of the Arma stuff was gone. And I just felt like I wanted to make the first tutorial better ever since then there's just too much bugs and by me I got like a black screen and when I was in my world it just didn't look as good the textures were not applied etc so as you can see finally we're in and this is the world in 3D now I'm just gonna give a quick uh, explanation of how to control and look around in this world uh, you if you're a laptop user I really do not know because right now I'm controlling, excuse me, uh, with the number pads. So number pad eight to t tilt this way, two to go down, four and six to turn around like this, minus to zoom out, plus to zoom in. Um, and yeah, well, oh yeah. Like flying a helicopter, by the default settings, you can go with Q up and with um, Z or Y, depending on your keyboard. You go down. I think if you hold Shift, yeah, while holding Shift, it increases the speed. You, mouse movement is to move like so. And that's about it for the movements. Now, we want to do a little bit extra here. Uh, I'll get into a few things. Okay, let's just look for... Now we leave this open and we tap and we can also do a middle mouse button click on anywhere where we want to and if we tap back into it yeah, it's going to pretty much just put us there. So we want to I suppose be here somewhere and I just zoom in with the scroll button in case you guys don't know how I'm doing this and then with the right mouse button I'm holding it down and moving around. So this is going to be a um, inefficient way of adding in objects because it's pretty poorly made but uh, thankfully there's a guy out there who in the next tutorial which I will cover how to add in all the items and whatnot because currently we have to do it a really really super slow method so we go to the tools and then we can select either the natural objects or the artificial objects and we go to the artificial objects in this case and we click on add and browse now it can be the either the P because the P is like I said the it just copies the D stuff and uh, the CA where we uh, took out those PBO stuff we can then select um, buildings 2 and you can obviously guess what's in buildings 2 so let's just select something and let's go with the general store one and then we select one of the general stores and we click on OK and it puts it here and you you can see the problem is that you'd have to continually you know add in stuff like this so just next next I suppose you can maybe do a shift or alt click yeah you can do that but it's nonetheless a very slow process and then when you have that done you click on OK now and you see this type of problem also happens I think I added the same object twice so let's try it again I'll just add in one this time. I click on OK. Yeah, now it works. And uh, then it pops up here on the menu, and you just click it once, and then you click around the map anywhere. And this is just the uh, placement from above. Now we can go back to the 
a thing here. And you see it's uh, bitching here currently. Hold on, I'll just make this a little bit bigger. And it's probably bitching because I didn't extract every single thing uh, from the add-ons. You know, the more you extract, I suppose, then it would find, as you can see, it's looking for CA buildings, data, and then bet on one. Uh, one. So you always have to look out for these uh, stuff that it's complaining about. And um, let me just show you exactly what uh, what's going on here and how this would be fixed if you guys are confused about this because it can get confusing so if we go to our armor work we can also go to the p1 and then the ca as you can see it's looking in the ca folder and in the ca folder it's looking for a buildings folder and obviously there is no buildings folder here so it doesn't even find it in this case if you wanted to fix this right now or any other problems in future just go to your Arma, Arma game. So this would be here, Arma, and then add-ons. It could be also in the extensions if it's the uh, if you um, let's see which is the extension again. Uh, combined ops, or I really don't know right now why it's called. Anyway, it's probably looking for the buildings, and that would be here. So if we extracted this now and we put it in there, it's probably looking for. I'm just going to extract it here just for the sake of demonstration. And I just want to see if it, uh, if we find that bit on 1. Because I'm guessing. Okay. So then the buildings here, CA. And then again, you would only have to have this one in here, not the CA thing. So buildings, then data, and then bit on. Yeah, so this is what it's looking for. So if we wanted to fix it, we just put this into the folder b uh, as I did it uh, before. Okay, if uh, if you're getting that error though and you're getting that thing, you can click, I think, on enter or space to get rid of it. And now we want to, I just want to show a little bit uh, of how, how to move things around. So again, with as if the helicopter controls, you go up and down. And I think with uh, space you can select it, so it's selected now. And then you can hold the left mouse button and you can move it around like such. I think if you hold the right mouse button, yeah, you can then twist it around. And then while holding one of these uh, mouse buttons, you can then hold uh, or use the Q and the Z uh, to set the height of it. So let's see just put it here. I'm not going to do anything too complex. This is pretty much the only thing that's going to be in town or on this island, better said. Okay. And um, that will be all for for our disk right now. And we want to now basically play this. So this map and this lonely little general store here. So make sure not to close this. So again, we tab out and then we go to project and we want to export the world and we want to select um, well we go back to D armor tools armor work um, our workspace the tut sample map and then this folder here again like I warned before we can select this here but we want to remove the end those last three ones and it's a dot brp and this is the export um, if we want to kind of you know do the conversion or whatnot and make it ready to play with in the actual game so we save it and I think we still leave it up and then we want to go to the armor tools once more and we want to open up the bin pbo personal edition but before that, actually, we want to also open up one more window. And uh, we go to your game, Arma 2. So by me, it's D, Arma, not Arma Tools, Program Files, Arma 2. And as you can see, if you're familiar with, uh, or have, if you have used mods before, which you probably did if you're looking for a video like this, um, we do a uh, right click and we do a new folder. And we're going to make our own. So at and in this case tut and as you will notice by most other stuff there's always add-ons so if I just open any of them there's always add-ons add-ons same story with ours so we have our tut we create a new folder and then call it add-ons and that's all good 
and we can leave that be. Now we go back to uh, bin PBO, we run the bin PBO, and let me see what settings we have to have to make the bin PBO work. Okay, so the bin PBO, we want to then specify our workspace, so workspace, and backwards dash, and then tut underscore sample map. That's good. The next one here then is we want to change this and we want to find um, our Arma 2. And in the Arma 2, we want to find our freshly made tutorial sample map folder and then select the add ons in there and click OK. Now we want to go to the options. And in the options, what do we need? In the options, we want to make sure that there is the .vrp inside, and we'll also need an RV mat. So we need the semicolon thing here. As you can see, I'm just going to highlight it in case it's not visible. So semicolon. And after the semicolon, we need this kind of star thing. I don't know what it's called. You can just copy one of these and then just you know paste it and then remove the final words and then we write in dot r uh, oh sorry wrp so and uh, here we wanna oh yes um, before proceeding we wanna uh, yeah we can go to this folder here we wanna go to the p drive uh, and we wanna do a new folder and then bin underscore temp And that should be it for that. So then we go back here and uh, we do a p double dot uh, backward slash or forward slash, I don't know which one is it right now, and then bin underscore temp, the folder that we just created. We then untick this one here and we want it only t up till here to the p slash workspace and then we click on I'm just gonna check real quick if I got everything so we have a, oh holy crap I'm talking about RV math and I'm writing in um, the WRP so sorry about that so it's RV math so again RV math yeah I'm getting ahead of myself again so I'm just checking now if I got everything, so we need, we just have to make sure that this one's in here and this one's in here. All good. Click on OK. I'm just going to check if I have everything here as well. Not that we get any errors. And if all goes well, we shouldn't get any problems now. Let's click on Pack. Fingers crossed again. And now I'm bringing this folder back up to show what's happening. If we go into the add-ons, we already have a lock here. So it's doing its job. Thank goodness. And it's a very good sign if it's taking its time because um, the last times when I always did it, it went really fast and there was just bugs without end. And the file size also seems to be decent, so it should be around 18 megabytes. If it's something ridiculously small, like only one or two megabytes, then something obviously went wrong. Okay, now we're reaching the final phases, and if you know how to add mods on your own, that's good. And uh, then just add this one as you would like a normal mod. Otherwise, I do it this way, is using the Arma 2 launcher, so just Google that, and I'm sure there's tutorials out there. But in short, when you install it, you can uh, there's these add-ons group, and you can then do a right-click, and you can add a group. And uh, I already added it one here, but it's from the last time I was experimenting before. So... I'll just go around with it so with you guys so just click on add group and I'll just rename this one to oh shit here it goes again uh, bugs over bugs I don't know why that happens but I'll just reopen up the launcher now right 
add group. Oh, I probably clicked on remove instead of rename. Anyway, so I'm just going to call this toot and uh, I'm just going to activate it. And in this toot, you should have all your stuff popping up here. You can also click on refresh in case you just it just didn't work. And there's also, mm, yeah, add ons option. I think you can just find it direct or if it doesn't find it by, I think, by like so. But anyway, it's not the tutorial about this. So then you should find anyway your toot. You just throw it in there, you activate it. And if you would be editing your shortcut, obviously it would be, you know, in the parameters there below. Now, I'll be finishing uh, the video on my desktop here. I'll see you guys in a moment in game. So that's all uh, what I'm going to do right now is click on start here and I'll see you guys in game. guys I'm back and I'm in the game this time and if all things went well we will see this in the editor here and thank goodness the last times uh, I was having trouble I didn't even find it so here's the tutorial sample map let's open it up let's go into our world and here we are we can already see it and we can click on the textures as well and as you can see the textures have been nicely applied to it now let's go remove the textures and there's our little house or grocery store or whatever that is let's click on preview let's check it out hopefully we won't get any bugs with the no not at all i was getting last time other bugs like uh, the ground was black or the ground was white or the ground was flashing but as you see doing it this way you pretty much get everything correctly for once. Ugh. Okay. So, shortly I will be probably making other videos about uh, more about uh, the building stuff in the game and actually building your own map. So, like, obviously, this is a preset uh, map. So, you know, the form and shape of it, whatever, you know, we'll be able to do that on our own next time. I'll also be covering how to do roads. Uh, so that the roads can be easily placed, uh, not by the um, visitor to you, it's just really, really slow, especially if you make a really big map, so. Also show how to make uh, forests and um, randomly generate forests, so that's another important thing because you don't want to place trees by trees, and even if you just do, let's say, maybe like five trees and you copy that and then just copy and paste, you won't get the... Uh, nice variation uh, you kind of want uh, you know forests and nature to be a little bit random so i suppose that's all for now so this is zaza rising signing off if you found this video helpful subscribe for more also like comment and share to help others out see you next time It's a bloody miracle I even got this right.